On the 16th of April 2016, in a Gold Coast vs Brisbane clash, player Stefan Martin was running to catch the ball. He then ran into and had a massive collision with then Suns defender Stephen May. As you can see, that was a pretty big collision. If we look at the collision, we can see that Stefan Martin was pushed into this collision by Gary Ablett Jr. The collision likely would have happened anyway, but that push definitely added to the brutality of the collision. In round 21 of 2017, one of the most infamous clashes in AFL history would occur. To win a challenge, Giants player Toby Green would jump up and kick Bulldogs player Luke Dalhorse in the face. This is a very famous incident and will go down as one of the dirtiest moments in AFL history. Puts the boot up. Wasn't deliberate. The next incident occurred in July of 2014, when Richmond's Ty Vickery would punch West Coast's Dean Cox during a clash between the two teams. After the incident, Ty Vickery was suspended for four weeks. In July of 2021, in a game against Fremantle, Swans player Buddy Franklin would get annoyed and elbow Fremantle player Luke Ryan while being caught in a tackle. This incident would lead to Buddy being reported. In round 4 of the 2008 AFL season, Swans player Barry Hall would commit one of the most famous and brutal hits in AFL history on Eagles player Brett Staker. Barry Hall would lose his temper and punch Staker in the jaw, knocking him out. After the incident, Hall received a seven-match suspension. Barry Hall, that is the sort of thing that we thought was out of his game. But that isn't the only time Barry Hall makes this video, as in the ninth round of the 2010 AFL season, Barry Hall would get into a fight with some of the North Melbourne players. During this conflict, he would get player Scott Thompson in an aggressive chokehold, which he would receive a $4,000 fine for, yet he would receive no suspension. During a 2021 elimination final between the Giants and the Swans, Topi Green would bump into an umpire due to frustration. This incident would get him banned for the next game, which the Giants would lose, ending their finals run. Not straight through him, but certainly collecting him on the way. In the 20th round of the 2018 season, West Coast player Andrew Gaff would punch Fremantle player Andrew Brayshaw in the face during the 48th Western Derby. This punch would break Brayshaw's teeth and cave in his jaw, as well as leading to Gaff being suspended for eight weeks. This incident is known as one of the most famous and horrific in AFL history. Well, the fact that he hasn't taken his mouth guard out would suggest that his, his teeth are potentially loose, or he's having a, a real issue with his jaw because... Think yes. During August 2019, Fremantle player Lockie Schultz would run into umpire Alex Witten, knocking both over in a massive clash. After the incident, the umpire had to leave the ground due to his injuries. Oh, in a 2021 game between the Adelaide Crows and St Kilda, Crows player David McKay would collide with Saints player Hunter Clark, leaving Hunter Clark injured. And that's just the last incident in this video occurred in round 1 of the 2012 AFL season, during a game between Geelong and Fremantle. Geelong player Matthew Scarlett would punch Fremantle player Hayden Ballantyne in the face. The punch was triggered after Ballantyne mocked Scarlett getting into his head. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy the dirtiest moments in AFL history or this other video on screen. Thanks for watching.